你好，我叫蔡美良。Today, I will talk about the basic Chinese sentence structure. First, the most basic and common Chinese sentence structure is similar to the structure in English. A basic and common Chinese sentence structure is in three parts: subject plus verb plus object. For example, he plays ball. He is da da play is da da ball is jo jo. The word play in Chinese can be translated to da or one. When speaking playing ball, we use da, which literally means to hit. So the correct order will be subject plus verb plus object. Ta da jo, ta da jo. He plays ball. Note that in English, the verb will change according to the subject and the tense. In the example above, he is the reason the verb play needs to add, to add an s. In Chinese, we do not change the form of the verb for the time in Chinese sentence structure. Time or time when will go either right before the subject or right after the subject. So sentence structure will become subject plus time when plus verb plus object or time when plus subject plus verb or plus object. For example, he plays ball at. For this afternoon, four o'clock this afternoon is the time when it can be placed either right before or right after the subject. To apply the sentence structure, sub su sentence structure, subject plus time when plus verb plus object. The other will be he today he plus today afternoon four o'clock plus plays. Plus ball. The Chinese sentence will be Ta Jin Tian Sha Wu Si Tian Ta Jiu. For the location in Chinese sentence structure, location is another important piece of information when making an appointment. If you need to add location, you should place it after the subject and time. The, the structure will look like this. Subject plus time when plus location plus verb plus object. If the location contains a smaller area in the location, it's the same idea as time. Bigger location first and then smaller. For example, he plays ball at the gym in the school at four this afternoon. Let's take a look at the location information here. There are two location words: gym and school. Let's arrange them in the correct order in Chinese grammar. School is a bigger location, while the gym is a smaller location which is inside the school. So, so the correct order in Chinese will be he plus today afternoon four o'clock plus in the school at the gym plus play plus ball. For time duration in Chinese sentence structure. When you would like to express that an action has been continued for a period of time, you need time duration in the sentence. The structure will look like this: subject plus time when plus location plus verb plus object plus verb plus time duration. We place the time duration at the end of the sentence. The example below can show you where all three elements. Time when location and time duration are placed in the Chinese sentence. For example, he play ball for three hours at the gym in the school this afternoon. So the correct order in Chinese will be he plus today afternoon plus in the school at the gym plus play plus ball for plus for three hours. Ta Jin Tian Xia Wu. Chai Xie Xiao Yu Yu Dong Chang Ta Jiu Da Le Sang Zan Ge Xiao Shi. 
In Chinese, when adding the time duration, the verb said sometimes, not all the time, repeats before the time duration. So the whole sentence structure will look like this. Subject plus time when from big to small plus location from big to small plus verb plus object plus verb plus time duration.